How did you become aware that you were sensitive to caffeine? What were the symptoms, if you can recall? And, um, you know, what did that look like? Oh, yeah. No, I know what it does. Well, you know, people talk about getting the jitters, right? Um, and I would get that too, but I ha- would talk so fast. Nobody could understand me. <laughs> I'm already moving at a fast pace, as anybody will tell you who's around me for any long, you know. <laughs> I'm always on the run. <laughs> and, um, and and so caffeine just makes that, you know, speeds that up ridiculously. And then I have insomnia at night. And then on top of that, and a lot of people suffer from this, it, coffee is really highly acidic. So if I drank coffee, I would have to have like a whole bunch of milk in it or cream in it or something like that. And then also be eating something with it and da, 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 da. And even after all of that, I'd still get burning in the stomach. So coffee just didn't agree with me from the acidity point of view, as well as the caffeine point of view. But caffeine sensitivity, it is so insidious. Some people will say, then, by the way, I, I can tell you how to quit caffeine if you do want to get off of it. Me too. But, so we can do, we, you can share your approach. Yeah. And if there's anything left, I'll add to it. Go ahead. But some people will say, you know, like this pain that I always have in the back of my neck, you know, going down my back or whatever disappeared when I quit caffeine. And that's because caffeine also makes us tense our muscles. It makes us tense everything. It gives us stress, not, not energy, but people think it's energy, but it actually is stress. <laughs> And so, you know, all kinds of weird things will go away. I mean, I have people saying my tinnitus went away or my yeah, migraines were better or, um, you know, my cystitis my uh, was better. You know, all that stuff. Just giving up coffee um, helps so many different things. And you just have to kind of find it out for yourself. Well, yeah. And because stress is the root cause of most disease, which stress causes inflammation. I mean, I don't want to just say the only thing is stress, but stress is like the starting point, in my opinion. And so that's why. I inspire and I teach people how to remove these interferences from their lifestyle, right? Well, I'd like you to explain before you tell people how to get off of caffeine, tell people why having acid in the coffee or in your lifestyle can prove to be problematic. Yeah, well, uh, you know, we all hear about inflation these days, right? So the two things, you know, that cause inflation is um, too much sugar and too much acidity. <laughs> you know, you mean inflammation. I should have been saying inflammation. You said inflammation, <laughs> and I'm like, I said no, inflation. No, no, no. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, inflammation, right? So the inflammation. two that cause inflammation yeah. are, go ahead, the sugar, mm-hmm. right, and acidity. Um, we're supposed to have an alkaline body and sugar raises acidity as well, but also, you know, acidity. And people get very confused about what acidity is because, and so I'll tell you the really quick thing. They, they go around with those little strips and they try and test a bit of liquid and they say, oh no, it has a pH that's too low. I can't have that. How our body corrects metabolic acidity is it uses minerals. So you have your yes. alkaline yes. minerals. Yes, yes, <laughs> please. Yes. It is not about testing your food or your drink and saying, oh no, it came up with a pH or whatever, you know, it's not about that. It's about minerals. Minerals is probably the most important thing we can eat. Except, I just you know, like, I just downed so. a bunch of minerals before the show. I'm like, you know, I'm like, need to get my mineral intake, you know. So, right. yeah. so your best alkaline minerals, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. So Ticino is full of potassium. We have more potassium when you brew a cup of Ticino than Gatorade puts in the sports drinks to replace your potassium after you've been sweating, right? <laughs> um, and, and, I, and I'm just going to input here. We don't want to advocate for Gatorade as... As besides the fact that Ticino has more potassium, Gatorade has some unfriendly elements. So we'll just yeah. leave it at that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not here to bash Gatorade, but we've nope. got more potassium in it. Yeah. And, and there I, are more exciting things to drink in my beverage world. <laughs> but at any rate, when you drink Ticino, you're good. That potassium goes into your body. It's not only helping your body create... Um, Uh, you know, adjust the metabolic acidity, but it's also allowing your cells to discharge waste and to take in nutrients because you have to have a balance between the potassium and the um, and the sodium in your system. So it's called the sodium potassium pump. So you need potassium and that's why the FDA woke up, right? Right? Just recently, they they changed the uh, nutrition facts, you know, 
this little guy on okay. the side of your package. Here we are. Yeah. And they put potassium on it. And we've got our potassium right there at the bottom. But for years, you didn't have to put potassium on it. I kept labeling how much potassium was in a cup of tea Cheeto because it was important to know. Now you have to put it on, which is great. Um, yeah. And and there's actually a place for it in the nutrition facts box, which didn't used to exist. Um, but at any rate, potassium is super important. And that's what people um, are recognizing now to our health, but also to balancing the acidity in the body and to giving us energy because it's so easy to take in salt. You know, we have salted everything, right? But unless we're eating enough of our fruits and vegetables or drinking Ticino, you're not getting very much potassium. So that's I am uh, with you 100%. You're so brilliant. Um, I love that you know, there's been a disconnect between um, food manufacturers and health, and that doesn't exist in your world, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it's- I was in shock watching the Super Bowl ads and the things they were still advertising that people are supposed to eat. <laughs> Did you watch oh, it? No, I don't watch the Super Bowl. I have uh, a husband. He's into it, right? And I like to watch the ad. And there were still so many unbelievably unhealthy things they were advertising for people to eat, you know? Kind of a it's, it's scary to me, just mm -hmm. even what I see on the shelves. So we belong to a health club uh, down the street where I do hot yoga and my husband and I weight lift. And um, you walk in and there's this big place, you know, you can get all these different drinks and they have the colors of the rainbow and they're not derived from real, you know, fruits or vegetables. And so, you, right. And so now most of the employees know that they're toxic. There's a huge disconnect. If you're trying to get people healthy, walk the entire talk, you know. So what I'd love for you to also share about is one of the ingredients is chicory root. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so would you like to talk about the benefits of chicory root and, and as it relates to gut health? Yeah. So we actually have chicory root in every single dandelion blend that I've, uh, dandelion, every single Ticino blend that I've made. And I have made, I have to tell you, over 40 of them. <laughs> and I'm going to come out with some new ones this year too. So, hey, <laughs> there you go. Um, but that's because I think we should have a diversity of things to drink. And because there's so many palates out there, you know, various people have different taste preferences. So we have a lot of Ticino to drink, to enjoy. 